Hi guys! Our goal for this video is to be able to independently, that means all by yourself, write a noble gas configuration for some of these long, long elements. Um, so in the last little video we talked about how to include F block and wrote out that super long configuration for platinum. Um, as a reminder, this is what platinum's configuration looks like. So that complete configuration is pretty long and that last video took us five minutes. So I don't expect that it would take you five minutes to do this every time, but it's definitely time consuming. Um, so when we're talking about writing this whole configuration, there's like time and space constraints, right? Our periodic table is pretty small. We need to be able to um, express things pretty succinctly or sh in like short terms. Um, so we have developed, and by we I mean chemists, have developed this idea of a shortcut using um, noble gases. So basically what happens here is that I am just going to write the electrons that are valence and highest energy. So just the ones on the outside and everything else, those ones that we said were the core electrons, kind of those middle ones that weren't really doing a whole lot, right? They don't have the most energy and they're not participating in chemical changes. We're just going to say kind of, hey, we know those are in there. That's the core, but we're not concerned about them. We want to be concerned with the ones that are actively doing stuff, so to speak. So we shorthand this by, again, using that noble gas. So the way this works, I would come and find platinum. So platinum still here is number 78. That hasn't changed at all. But instead of starting way up here at hydrogen, I'm going to go to the closest previous noble gas. So guys, you can't just go to the end of the row because there's not a way to subtract elements. I can only add elements. So I can't like sub minus 5D minus 4F. I can just add things after the noble gas. So when you do this, you've got to make sure and go to the noble gas on the previous row. That means in this case, xenon. So to get to xenon, this would end at 5P6. Again, I know that because it's in period 5. This is my P block and 6 is at the end. So if I go back to this original configuration, what I can do is basically shorthand this whole part by just putting xenon in brackets. And it looks something like this. So I'm just gonna write it kind of over here to the side so we can compare. I would do square brackets, not parentheses, not curvy brackets, it's square brackets every time. Put in the closest previous noble gas, oops, wrong bracket. And then continue writing my configuration until I get to what I need. So in this case, I have 6s2. I still need those lanthanides across the bottom, so 4F14, and then I need my highest energy, the ones in that last um, sublevel, right there. So I've got 5D8, and then I'm finished. I can still use this shortened, abbreviated, or noble gas configuration, those are all kind of synonyms, to show the most important things. Um, in that Bohr model, we were working on circling those things with the highest amount of energy. So I can still do that. My highest energy is 5D. It's the last thing I wrote. And putting a box on our valence. And I can still do that. The highest N is 6S, and it's still there. So this saves us a whole lot of time, effort, and energy. But you cannot do this if you're specifically asked to write the complete configuration. So be careful what you're being asked to do. If it just says write the configuration, then you can choose. If it says write the complete configuration, you would need to write all of this. And if it specifically said write the noble gas or abbreviated configuration, then you would have to write it this way. So just be careful what you're being asked to do. The other two um, elements that you're being asked to write in your notes are antimony and mercury. So if I were you, I would pause right now try to do those. When you're ready, hit that play button and those answers will pop up on your screen for you. If at that point you have questions or concerns or need help, please find your closest chemistry teacher and let us know. All right, so hopefully you paused and tried to work out those two examples for antimony and mercury. Your answers are here in the green box right here in the middle. 
Again, if you need help after you double check those, please, please, please go find your closest chem teacher and let us help. Again, have a great day.